packages out I needed to have a return address that I didn't want to be my personal home address so I went out and I got a P.O. box I got the smallest option they had which I think was something between like three and a half inches to like five and a half inches or something like that and then like 14 inches deep they gave you the option of doing um, month by month payment three months six months and 12 months if I'm not mistaken if you did 12 months and you got an extra one for free but for the last couple of years um, we've been trying to uh, move out of this house and move into a different location so I might uh, who knows I might move so I didn't want to commit to having a PO box near my house now for the next year when I could not be here so I decided to do the six months I believe the price I paid for six months to have a PO box which is the smallest size was about fifty five dollars give or take um, which is not bad at all and it's it's perfect because it allows me to have um, a return address that isn't my personal home so I definitely stopped and did that first and then I stopped at Marshall's afterwards I actually went to Marshall's over the weekend and there was a uh, like a three to your basket system that I really wanted to buy for my kitchen because a lot of the vegetables like the root vegetables that I don't put in the fridge were just kind of hanging around I originally wanted to get like a black wire basket like tiered system but everywhere I look they're either sold out or they're kind of expensive and I didn't want to have to pay that much money so when I went to Marshall's over the weekend I saw that they had like just this natural wooded um, tiered basket system with three wicker baskets. Um, so I just went and picked that up. But while I was there, I was um, kind of going through the racks and found a couple things that I wanted. Um, I am always cold 
24-7. And for some reason, besides, I mean, all I have are really sweatshirts. I wear sweatshirts all the time. I just have my UAlbany sweatshirt on right now. So I decided that I really needed to pick up some um, tops that would be a little more suitable for the winter time rather than me just wearing t-shirts tank tops and sweatshirts all the time so i'm going to show those to you this first one is just this nude turtleneck top and it's it was a little weird at first because it has a zipper in the back and i didn't understand why until i obviously tried to put it on um because the turtleneck is kind of snug to your your head um or neck I, uh, they have a little zipper back here, which is a, a little silver zipper right there that goes all the way down. So I really liked this. I think it was 19, yeah, 1999. Um, so it's long sleeve and I picked out shirts that were all a little bit on the longer sides because especially during the winter time, I usually will wear, um, just some thicker leggings just to, you know, keep it comfortable. I also got this natural colored turtleneck. I got a light blue long sleeve shirt. And then I also got this mauve colored long sleeve knit top. So those are all really reasonable. I think they were all between like 12 to, to 20 bucks. So I just picked those up. So now that I, I have some clothes I can wear that aren't all just hooded sweatshirts. Um, so I'm pretty excited about those. I had a gift card too, which was awesome. So, so now I'm just going to uh, go back to making some products. And then um, I think today I also need to take some pictures. I haven't actually technically launched my studio yet. So I already had all of my website and everything done and i did build it myself i use squarespace as my like platform um to build my my website for my business and i was toying with going the etsy route for my studio maybe down the road if i'm having trouble in terms of um visibility and and whatnot i might start an etsy page just to make it a little easier on myself because one thing that's really difficult for me is keeping up with social media in terms of just even my regular business so to do that with also a studio baseline and then i also i'm opening up a boutique by the springtime that will have luxury bridal accessories it's it might get a little difficult so who knows i might open an etsy just you know for uh time and um you know visibility purposes but as of right now, I'm just going to stick to doing my website. Since I already pay for one, it doesn't really make sense for me to also pay extra fees for that. So I am going to just create a studio on my website. I already posted a couple pictures on there, but I have so many different things going on right now with all the different fabrics that I've been using. So I do have a lot more pictures to take, but then I also have a lot more things I have to finish sewing and creating. So um, I'll definitely uh, show you some of the stuff that I'm doing. I'll probably just have you um, kind of watch and hang out with me as I do it. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's what I mainly have to do today is take more pictures, finish a couple of the other projects that I already started, um, and then uh, yeah, maybe do some website stuff. So.
guys, so I finally got a bunch of sewing done and I completed a couple things. I still have to take pictures to post on my studio site because I have not done that yet. And then I actually haven't picked a live date yet to post everything online. I think by the end of this week, I'm just gonna open it up and then, um, yeah. So if you wanna check out some of the pieces that I'll have completed by the end of this week, um, definitely click on uh, the link below to check out my studio shop. I'll show you, show you guys some stuff at the end of this vlog that I completed this week to post up there. And yeah, so I'm kind of tired right now. Um, as you can see this morning, I unboxed uh, some new fabric. So I definitely have a lot more in store to post up onto the studio shop. I'm just kind of trying to get through all of the other stuff that I had already started and just didn't complete yet. I still have about a handful of things left. Um, just the, the final pieces, like the final details to sew onto the top of them and then that will be it. I think I'm just gonna start putting things away. Let me show you guys really quick some of these items that I have. So these are the pieces that I have left to do. So as you can see, I was able to create a turban, but I haven't put the final piece on the very top of these pieces yet. So I just need to sew those on. Um, and then over here is where I keep a bunch of the stuff I've already finished. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different turbans that are already done over here. These are already completed. These are the ones I already took pictures of and posted on the site so I have all of these already situated I just have to start bagging them up which I'll probably do tomorrow and I'll video some of that too so that you guys can see what the packaging for that looks like when I finish it up and then and bag it all up uh, when it's done but these are all the items that I still have left to take pictures of so as you can see I have a ton of different options the two different types of styles I have are the turbans that have the ruffles on the top of them so as you can see here there is um, a ruffled top on it this out and they all have completely different colors I have just the regular fabric mixed in with this pink ruffled tool here um, that I absolutely love so a lot of the items that I create that have like the pinks in them will have this ruffle um, be mixed in with the fabrics I also have another type of tool here too where it has the pearls which I absolutely love um, I try not to include too many of the pearls on them though because these are for kids so the last thing I want is for them to start yanking on these pearls and then you know they are a choking hazard so there's not that many in there but those are the two ruffle tops um, that I've created so far and then over here is just your typical flat lay turban so as you can see I've put in a little piece to finish it up right here I absolutely love this fabric this is one of my favorite fabrics the sequins and the and the metallic finishes come out so pretty I think it just makes them pop so much but those are the two types I have so far and then I did create a headband as well which I have not put out on the site yet but this is one of the fleece lined ones and then it's like a those like athletic fabrics um, and it has a uh, cheetah print printed on it on top of the matte black so this one's really cool I really like this one and I love how these headbands turned out so I will um, make more of these in the future and post them online as of right now this is the only one that I've made so far so I will be posting that on there too but yeah so let me put this back yeah that's all i have left to complete i keep all of the other stuff down here as well so i have these little small wooden crates that i absolutely love from ikea and this is where i store um all of the unfinished products so in here i have a bunch of things that have been cut but haven't been sewn together yet so i have to do that and then over here the main turbines have been sewn but the final pieces have to be put on so yeah that's what i got going on so far so I think I'm just going to clean up my office and then um, I'm going to plan out for tomorrow what I need to do. Uh, I have a little clipboard that I hang over here in the corner when I do my weekly planning and that's where I write down everything that needs to be completed for the week. Um, and so I'm going to wrap everything up in the office and I think I'm going to just plan out tomorrow and 
yeah I'll probably record tomorrow I definitely have time recording is very time consuming because I have to set up the camera I have to put it in different angles I have to make sure everything's working correctly I need to double check my footage so like just trying to finish the things that I need to and get through them quickly doesn't work really well when I'm recording. So I don't record as often as I definitely should, but I'm obviously trying to be a little more diligent about that so that I can create content regularly for you guys. Um, now that I've completely redone my office and just set it up to the best organized ability that I have, um, I definitely feel a lot more motivated um, and clear-minded to be able to create more content for you and have a regular scheduled uh, time frame. I think that's it. I think I'm wrapping up the vlog for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.